Hello assalamu alaikum in this video we will understand about the scorpion bite pathophysiology and how it can change the physiology and let's begin to understand basically we will concern with the uh, uh, deep concept how it can interact so the scorpion is arthropod class insecta it is insect basically contain venom in their tail some scorpion not dangerous but some is life threatening species and the hyperglycemia is the major sign and symptom which that will lead to change the physiology like hypertension and sometimes hypotension and a lot more things activation due to the uh, adrenergic and cholinergic access this sting site is a venom which that when inject into the skin which that will lead to inject the uh, venom the venom uh, when inject into the skin is uh, can be a alpha toxin and other toxins when alpha toxin and other toxin will enter into the blood circulatory system it will change the physiology by the targeting to the specific tissue on the basis of the specific uh, venom content like the sodium channel blocking peptide and calcium potassium channel blocking peptide will target with the channel will inhibit the movement of the potassium influx and outflux of the potassium and sodium in this way will change the physiology due to the potassium channel blocking peptides will affect differently like the resting membrane potential more in this way the more depolarization of the neuron will lead to abnormal polarization cell cycle progression as well as apoptosis decrease the unlimited proliferation will lead to cause cancer and the angiogenesis angiogenesis will increase for both the sodium and potassium channel blocking invasion and migration of the cell as well as the intracellular calcium concentration will increase will lead to exocytosis of the neurotransmitter to the coordination increase while the extracellular ph will be decrease it means more acidic will lead to activation the extracellular matrix degrade degradation enzyme let's understand about the physiology of the uh, pancreas so pancreas contain alpha cell and beta cell especially beta cell is responsible for the releasing of the insulin so it will arise the calcium inside will lead to exocytosis of the insulin will enter into the blood circulatory system it is known as the hyperinsulinemia in this way the it will be target to the insulin receptor with a specific tissue but the abnormal physiology of the cell will lead to insulin resistance while also the insulin resistance will lead to rise the glucose level is known as hyperglycemia so remember about that and glucagon will also rise when glucagon will rise will lead to more glucose rise in the blood but the insulin insensitivity will lead to cause hyperglycemia the severe scorpion and venomation is a massive catecholamine release glucagon release glucocorticoid release renin angiotensin aldosterone stimulation system stimulation and the hyperinsulinemia and insulin resistance as i discussed before cytokines like tumor necrotic factor alpha interleukin 1 beta and interleukin 6 and 8 release development of the multi organ fail will lead to cause death so i hope you make sense about that let's understand about the scorpion and we and and we know mention due to the alpha toxin or other toxin with the activation of the sympathetic as well as parasympathetic activation due to the neurotransmitter release due to the calcium increase in the in the in the cytoplasm this is the adrenergic access and the cholinergic access 
due to the scorpion and uh, scorpion and we know mation the alpha toxin and other toxin as well as the neuromuscular excitation due to the depolarization and the neurotransmitter we release due to the calcium increase adrenergic excess means the sympathetic nervous system activation while the cholinergic excess means the parasympathetic nervous system activation adrenergic excess will lead to sympathetic nervous system activation cause tachycardia hypertension myocarditis agitation seizure myocarditis while for the parasympathetic nervous system activation due to the cholinergic neurotransmitter excess will lead to cause bradycardia vasodilation vomiting diaphoresis lacrimation and myosis as well as bronchospasm bronchospasm and bronchial secretion remember about that the secretion and the lacrimation is due to the parasympathetic nervous system activation the rest and digest so the dizziness neuromuscular excitation will lead to oculo motor abnormality visual dis- disturbances muscular spasms paralysis and coordination will lead to cause seizure but remember about that basically the uh, basically the sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system collapse together and not working properly will lead to cause many many complication like for the cardiovascular effect and the pulmonary edema the cardiovascular effect will lead to arrhythmias and t wave changes in the ecg when we will put in the icu myocardial dis- myocardial dis- depression and the hypotension as well as shock while well, a multi organ fail and death as well as coma while on the other hand the pulmonary edema due to the myocarditis myocarditis mean the thickness of the uh, uh, myocytes uh, of the myocardial muscles and the respiratory failure and cause death let's understand again the severe scorpion and 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 we know mation will lead to inhibit the sodium and potassium channel will lead to increase the calcium uh, calcium concentration in inside of the cell intracellular will lead to cause hyperglycemia due to the releasing of the more insulin and the glucose also and in this is the bronchial secretion the bronchospasm and the uncoordinated neuromuscular activity will lead to cause death the treatment is uh, if we will properly treat will can reverse this all adverse effect like aspirin anti venom titer like prazosin midazolam and diazepam every day every 12 hours after 12 hours we can use this strategy to cure while the scorpion bite pathophysiology we have discussed in this video but the many scorpion will not effect like this some are dangerous and some are not thanks for watching if you like my video please make sure to subscribe like and